Welcome back to Aratus, Lord of the Dead, folks. We are doing great. We have level 7 Leech, we have a level 7, seven Dark Knight, and they have all legendary stuff. Level 6 Lost Soul with all level legendary stuff. And then we have a level 6 Banshee, who just need is, needs a dust, and then she has all legendary stuff as well. In addition, we have three alternates here. So we have actually a full extra squad of level 5, 6s and 7s, well 5s and 6s because this is our main squad, right? So we're looking really, really good, really good. And we're going to stick these guys in here and do some more training. Okay, else we are filled up everywhere we want to be. I would, wouldn't mind getting another spot in here for mana regeneration but we don't really have the stuff to do it so we're not going to because we need to save up all our stuff to make dust so that we can get our banshee up to full legendary stuff as well because then we can use uh, where is it i think we have it oh, don't we I think we have an item where if everyone is wearing at least on common, then something happens. Don't we? Don't we have it in this run? Yes. Amulet of Perfection. Minions made up of four uncommon parts or more gain additional 20 vigor during battle. But I'm not sure we want to use it because it will take the spot of this amulet of the dream eater which decreases the critical hit strength of enemies by 20 percent and that is quite significant significant but right now we are going into battle against these guys a bunch of spell thieves with one of them being an elite so let's do it all right We have pretty good, so our Lost Soul here has 5 blocks, 3 uh, wards, our Lich has 4 and 4, and then our Banshee could do with a bit more, she only has 1 and 2, and our Dark Knight has 1 and 1. But uh, I think we're doing okay. The Lost Soul is going to wait, and Banshee is going to stand up, so that we can get down this plate cloud. And you can stand up. And then it's all of those guys turn. Lose 20 mana. Ow. That's mean. Okay. Lose 15 mana. We do get a lot of screams and stuff off. From this. Well, that's pretty good. Ow. 18 damage. He took away all his buffs and wards. Or, or his, all his blocks and wards. All of them. How did that happen? That doesn't seem fair at all. Alright, let's pull you guys. Alright, first one who is nuts. And the second one who is nuts. Left. And unlucky. Betrayal. I like betrayal. Betrayal. We're gonna wait. We're gonna stand up. You're gonna stand up. I don't like them stealing our mana. That really sucks. And you are going to fight cloud there. All right. Ow. That was a nasty crit there. That was a nasty crit. All right. But miss. Betrayal. <laughs> like when they betray each other. And another miss. Excellent. And now it's her turn. And she's gonna pull. Very nice. Another nutty person. And three of them are batshit crazy. And one of them is 
basically ready to die as well. Yeah! So that's nice. So are those two now? Alright, heart attack there. Heart attack there. Very nice. Then you can... Actually, let's just scream at him. Give him a heart attack. Nice. Which means that you need to stare. Nice. He is insane as well. He doesn't have anyone to betray, unfortunately. But still, I guess he can betray himself. Go ahead and do that. No, he's not going to do that. 14 health lost. Uh... You're gonna do a little scream at him, and you're gonna do a little scream at him. Now that's gonna be my mark. Very nice. And you can stare. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. Almost done. Good miss. Good miss. And we don't really need to do that. So let's just do some screaming. Very nice. <laughs> Standing. So Humanarium token. Two dust, two ectoplasm, some stuff. The dust is important. And the lost soul will get healed by the 15% from the standard of darkness. So no one is wounded at all. Very nice. They're doing some training and everything is great. All right. So Eratus did lose some mana, which is annoying, but we'll manage because we have a fountain of restoration up here. So now it's the Stilly and we're going to go over there and give Eratus some experience. And now he has three experience points. And we were going down towards what? What were we going towards? We we're going towards this. So we can grab the love potion. Through transformation, the will becomes free. I don't think we'll be able to make it to that, but it's fine. It's fine. Right, so how far are you from level 7? Quite far. And you are almost there. So the Banshee won't be able to make it to level 7, but everyone else will be level 7 by the time we reach the boss. Which is awesome. Let's use one of these mana crystals. Finally this item finds its way into my capable hands. Yeah. Head to the dungeon and take on these guys. All right. Okay, 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 okay. And I think we want to kill the vampire here last because I think that means that we get her if she is the last one standing. I'm not entirely sure, but let's see. We're, we're going to try that anyway. Alright. We need to pull her. Let's... Yeah, I guess we will put this on here. Take away a bit of ward. And use mana. Stop dealing my mana. Counter Strike for 200% physical damage to any enemy that attacks her. Ouch. Alright. But we're definitely not targeting her ever. We 
Did your frail bodies fail you? And it's panic, unfortunately. I would rather have, have had yeah. the trail. But yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. And she is nuts as well. You go into your stacks. You put down this. Out there. Now, 22 crit and loses every single block and block and so on. Or block and uh, ward, which really sucks. That really, really sucks. Alright. I missed. How did you miss? Good. Good. Brave. Nice heart attack for her. Awesome. Do that. Excellent. One more for the stop. And another heart attack. Very nice. So now we just want her down. So let's stare at her. I will overflow. And let's stare at her. And stick down the cloud. One less nice annoyance heart attack. in the world. Excellent. Her ward is gone. Oh. Right, she's gonna need to heal. He is gonna need to heal. Unless we can keep her alive long enough that she doesn't need to heal. That could be a thing. Okay. Oh, I really don't want her to attack. So let's do that. didn't get out of her pose for that. Block. He will block too, unless she crits. Alright, she's batshit crazy. A sad display for nice. And we do get a damp here. Nice. So all we need to do is, is make her insane. Alright. She has to be the last and be insane, I think, then we get her. Alright, very nice. And we got some dust and stuff. And she is back up to full health. Good. Got some stuff there, and we have a fallen damp here now. Let's have a look at her. Never seen her in action before. So, masterful thrust, physical attack deals 100%. Damage ignores armor and block. Another physical attack. Critical hit restores vigor equal to 40% of the damage dealt. That's very nice. And then we have a mocking repost deals 100% 13 to 50 stress damage. Interrupts stances. The fallen dampier enters a stance and deals 80% 12 to 14 physical damage to any enemy that attacks her. That's really nice. And then we have trap places trap on the selected position for two rounds. Anyone in the trap can't move. Pain blast, magic attack attacks five times, dealing twenty-five percent forty-four damage. The target loses all resistance until the end of the battle. Not bad. And a physical attack attacks three times, dealing six to seven seven damage with each attack. The target loses all armor until the end of battle. She is really nice. I am looking forward to a run with her at some different point. But it's not gonna be this time. But can we make them now? No, we need to make... We need to lure two more and we need to turn another vampire before we can make these units. Alright. 
what we can do though is stick her in there. Brick. I'm not that. So it doesn't really matter now because we are at the boss. So yeah. Let's level her up. We want to give her luck. So buff the target gains plus one ward. My fire. enemies are in some for luck. A She's a little bit wounded, surprise. which is unfortunate. But we're almost at full mana, so it's fine, I guess. We want to get a dust for her so that they are all at max. So we have three dust. Let's uh, let's transmute into dust. It's no gold, but it will do. That's another two dust. That's five. Then we want to transmute into rags. Hold my work. Damn it. Okay, we want to transmute into blood. Which we can't do. Into ectoplasm. Uh, skeleton will clean up this mess mm. later. Into hearts. Arn. Into flesh. Do we have any? Oh, we have a lot. All right. It's no gold, but it will do. Good. Okay, now we can make hearts. Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. And we can make some ectoplasm. <laughs> Some blood. A uh, skeleton will clean up this mess so we later. We can make some rags. And we can make some dust. Behold my work. Right, let's see, how many dust do we have now? Six. That's nowhere near enough. We need to make more. Uh, whoa. Not what I want to do. So. Let's. Transmute into armor from our weapons here. Uh, we could actually... Let's distill first. And... Uh, a skeleton will clean up this mess later. And then we can transmute into armor. It's no gold, but it right. will do. Well, that's a level two armor. Um, we need to make one more level two armor. So... Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <coughs> transfer into... Ugh. Armor. Behold right, so that's my work. Green armor. We need one more armor. Transmutation. Actually, let's do distillation first. It's no gold, but it will do. Hold oh, my work. Two skulls. Transmute those into. bones. Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. And then we can make <laughs> another <laughs> bones, which will turn into another, to into a blue weapon. Um, distillation bones. A uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Transmute into. It's weapon. no gold, but it will do. So we have a blue weapon. Which means that we can make... Nothing. We need... Oh, what do we need? We need... Green armor. We need green armor. So in order to do that, we need, we can make two green bones and make a green weapon. 
Does that help us? No. Not yet, anyway. We can make two green and turn into green bones. Okay. So let's distill these uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. And we will transmute those into bones. Behold my work. And then we will distill some bones. Ah, the smell and of transmute successful them into alchemy. <coughs> weapon. So that's a green weapon. We need to make more. This is right. Let's it's no you gold, into blood, but it will do. which does allow us to distill the blood. Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <coughs> and then we can transmute it into dust. Behold my word. Or into rags, actually. Which we need. We need more rags. I don't think we can get there. I also think I screwed up. Uh, let's distill the dust that we have. A uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. It's no gold, right. but it will do. So, we need four more dust. Actually, we just need two more dust. Two more dust. Can we get there? We need a green dust. So transmute into blood. A skeleton will clean up this mess later. Help. And transmute into Hold my work. weapon. And we can't do anything now. All right. So she's not getting a legendary. He is getting rare dust. Plus four accuracy, plus three evasion. I guess that's okay. We'll manage. We'll manage. For artifacts, I think I'm gonna use the ah, mash the, or the smoke bomb here. Yeah. We don't actually need this because it's the final battle. So why not use the grappling hook? Now book? I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Yeah. Okay, let's use the grappling hook. All right. Let's just pull these guys out. They are actually all level six now. That's pretty cool. And he is pretty close to level 7. Alright, so we're going in with three level 7s and a level 6 Banshee. Who is almost all legendary, but not quite. And yeah. So we do have this and we are going to heal up our lost soul. So that everyone is at full health. We almost have full mana, so I don't want to spend it on that. And let's jump into the boss battle. Let's do it. Final boss battle so far. All right. Having a reputation for being dangerous and unstable, fire mages are usually kept far away from civilization. Lest you be faced with one of one or two citywide firestorms. The pyromancer was responsible for one such fire before she was handed over to the maid school as a young girl. Even there, she proved to be more than a handful and earned the enmity of all of her teachers. Of all of her teachers. She has since finished mastering her powers while working as a mercenary in a company that was brave enough to let her tag along. The pyromancer doesn't hold back and everyone knows it. Things must be getting desperate if this fire-eyed spellcaster was hired to join the fight. All right, let's go to battle. Now I've never uh, fought her before, so I have no idea what to expect. 
and I have no idea how to kill her. Really? So we'll see. Let's wait with you. Let's just try the standard approach from the beginning here. Good miss. And I guess the cloud here doesn't do much against these guys. They don't take any... Right, they self-destruct. Right, let's have a look at that. When the summoning duration ends, the fire elemental explodes and deals 120% pure damage. Okay, so one turn, two turn, three turns. Let's try and pull her. Uh. Uh. We can okay. drive her nuts. Corruption. Extinction. We can drive her nuts. So I think that's the plan for her. But what about other things? Shatter their morale. Right, so he's already pretty crazy. I think it's better to just attack her. So you can live. And I think you are going to. Well, you can't attack that. 10 to 11 damage, that is not a whole lot. And you can't attack her. So let's start doing a bit of damage to that thing. Let's play Cloud her. Savor these last few heartbeats. I think we just need to take her down. Lords. Good. Now. Good. More materials. Ooh, but she is quite low on on sanity right now. That's good. But she's all the way at the back, too. Which is not good. Who's all buffs and debuffs? And you're gonna wait. You're gonna... Who can you scream at? Anyone. <coughs> scream at her. <coughs> that moved her forward, which means that he can... But I think I want to heal him. And then we can play Cloud Her. <coughs> he is quite low on sanity already, so I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. All our wards and stuff certainly help. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Pathetic. Right, so now you won't actually pull anyone, but you can <coughs> do that. Give <coughs> them no mercy. Okay. You're gonna wait. You're gonna scream at her. <coughs> and you are. can't really do anything. Moves all debuffs from the Dark Knight. Rogatius gains 12 mana. Ooh, I've forgotten to use mana. So let's force a sanity check. Madness manifest! And then we will remove those. So it doesn't take more damage. We'll stick down the cloud on her. She's very close to insane now. My power. Maybe I'll craft this one into furniture. Ow. 
delivered. Our Dark Knight is really taking a beating. See, what can we do here? Hmm. Target minions next attack will be a critical hit. That is not bad. Well, what else do we have? Move. Plus two initiative. 20 stress damage. How much does he have left? 28. You know what? That's still stress damage to her. You wait. You scream. <laughs> and you. You don't have enough. So. Yes! Heart attack! As the other heart attack. We won! Service. And achievement unlocked, Lord of Fire. Nice, we won! That wasn't actually that hard. We got some good stuff. Mimia and other stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Because we won. Game over. Alright. A pharaoh mask, some skulls and stuff. We do have the talent points here now to go down to this one. Your formula which I guess we'll do. Their secrets. We don't have enough to give her the, the dust that she so deserves, but it is what it is. But she is level seven now. So let's give her a I expect Ward. results. Alright. So the final lineup was level 7 Dark Knight with all legendary items or legendary parts, level 7 Lich with all legendary parts, level 7 Lost Soul with all legendary parts, and a level 6, well she's level 7 now, Banshee, almost with all legendary parts. She has one rare. But yeah, that was great. And we had full house here. We have two in here for gaining wrath, two down at the dead lake to get items, three excavating. We had one in here, we could have had one more. Gaining mana, three training, two of them, all three are levels, all, or our second squad is level four, all of them, or level six, all of them, sorry. And yeah, pretty darn good. So let's go through the exit with, of course, our main squad here. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. We won, guys. Time to harvest. Fantastic. I'll let the credits run. But yeah, that was really a lot of fun. But I think I'm going to take a little break from Eratus uh, for a little while. And next time we get into Eratus, we are going to go with a physical squad, I think try and uh, go on a completely physical run instead of doing dread damage I think that could be fun to do but I'll take a break for a few weeks I think and then we'll get back into it and see what we can do with a physical run so thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time